Hey, what's going on everybody? We're going to uh, haul some awesome looking trucks. I mean, these things are so cool. All right, they, the one's been out for, I think a day, the Dodge, and a Ford has just came out that I noticed, noticed because I check it pretty much every day for different things, see what I want to do. So yeah, I'm going to haul these trucks and then we're gonna go drive them around for just a wee bit and give them a go, see how they work out. I just love this Ford here. Later on I'll tell you more in the video, I'll tell you more about it as we're driving it around. Same with the Dodge. But first we're gonna just haul them. One thing I do have to say right now, this Dodge is so low geared. Oh my gosh. It don't matter if you put it in fourth gear, fifth gear, whatever the highest gear is, I can't really recall. But it still does not go very fast. Like maybe 15 miles an hour at the max, maybe. I don't know. All right, let's switch the truck here. There's a lot of stuff you can put on the truck. There's like a roll bars you can put on the Dodge, but one's inside the cab. There's different snorkels, there's different toolboxes, all kinds of stuff. It's crazy. Different tires. I just like those tires. They look cool. All right, we'll close the ramps up just real fast. Like. <laughs> A pull that's a heavy dodge let me tell you that thing is heavy for being a gas motor that thing is heavy of course you got the you gotta remember that you have them five ton or two and a half ton axles under the chassis or frame whatever on the dodge and that therefore and i have it loaded kind of funny wrong too like way up have all the weight pretty much on the tongue of the trailer so therefore it's going to put my truck down and it's really hard to pull anything with lifted trucks i don't know You can't get this Ford F-350 or whatever in fifth gear. It just stalls it out, dogs it down. That's just it. And anybody that's asking right now, how do you get developer tools on the side? That is the Spin Tires Plus. You can look up on the Spin Tires website or Spin Tires, I don't know. You can just search it. It's Spin Tires Plus. It's spelled plus, not the actual plus sign. Then you go into XML, set it all up. It's crazy stuff. It's too much of a problem. Somebody not some me or someone I hang out with surely has it. We have it. We can send it to you. Actually I do have a link of mine. I just wasn't sure if it's gonna be outdated or not, but yeah. That's that. And then why where's my shifter go? This is normal questions I get asked once in a while in the comments. Where's my shifter out on the side? I don't have it because I use a G27 steering wheel with force feedback and all that cool stuff. Clutch pedal, brake, all that stuff. Six speed with reverse shifter. But if you have a 13 speed truck, it doesn't do you no good. You're best just to stick it in automatic and use your foot and feed and your gas pedal and your brake. Let's go close the ramps up. Let's go get the other truck now, the Ford. I love that Ford. Hoover did the, that off-road Ford, did a really well job on it. CCS did this Ford here, did a really good job on it. I don't know why it didn't get any more stars in the... I have no idea. I think him and some other modder had an outing, and then it just kind of, their fan base kind of attacked that fan base, and his fan base attacked there, and just a big, it's a big normal, normal thing, normal mod. <laughs> Truck's a little squirrely for all that weight on there. Yeah, we're just driving back. And while we're driving back, might as well ask, don't forget to subscribe. Well, ask, tell, same thing. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos. I do have a lot of videos, just may not be found. I mean, I don't tag a lot of videos. I like, at least not used to, but it, I just don't do that. I never have. I just always thought it would find themselves. But I have very few videos that actually get found out, and then very seldom people share them. So you might be missing out on something really cool. You never know. I'm gonna try to put one spin tire video up a day from now on. I don't promise anything stuff does happen all right this is a cool truck you have you can put bumpers on the back you can put uh, roll bars in the bed I think or was it I don't remember but I know you can put bumpers on the front and back and do some other stuff different tires I know there's a winch bumper pipe bumper basically the pipe bumper all it is is two two pipes around steel tubing 
capped off at the ends. Kind of, I don't know, they kind of have a bend to them on the, each end. And that's the square tubing, or the round tubing on the front. Just a classic pipe bumper. Back one, I uh, don't know, I didn't really check it out too much. I don't really like it too much. I just like running them like that. Alright, let's go fold the rims up and haul it back. Yes. Just so you guys know, if you want this game, you can get it off G2A. There's going to be a link in the description. You can follow that. Go search. Spin tires, you can get it for about 6 bucks. Make sure it's for all regions. Otherwise, you might get something that's Russia, and then you'll have problems. Or, unless you're in Russia, then you have no problem. But, it, yeah, just make sure. It's like, I, but... Make sure you get the insurance. It's like a $2 thing, like a month. I'd get that. Supposedly it helps. I don't know. I hadn't had no problems. I bought like four or five spin tires from them to do giveaways, and I had no problems. They all said the codes is good, so that'd be a, check, a place to check out. Otherwise, you're paying $36 or $30 for the game. It's quite high for a 2013 game. It's a good game, but it's quite high. I wouldn't... I don't know about recommending it for a keyboard... Controller might be pretty good. I know keyboard and mouse you can go a little faster sometimes. Or better up hills. This truck sounds amazing. I'll just see if there's some logs. If you could put logs in the back. Okay, so a few things I've found about this. It actually works really well. Like it has a lot of power. Torque. It feels real realistic. All the lights work, except for the back ones. I don't think they're in. Look at the flex on that. It's amazing. Awesome. The suspension feels really realistic for leaf springs. You actually have the about the right balance, the control, and everything. If you play with it, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let's go take it for a test drive off road a little bit. Have some big rocks. We don't pay attention to those as going through the axle, pumpkin, nothing like that. It has a lot of power. I'm gonna drive this truck again, so you might might as well uh, expect more videos on this truck. All right, let's give it to go. This is pretty fast. It's actually a four-speed. Just like real life, that was throughout the year they had like the 80s something, 83s or 85s or 86s or something like that. I think, whatever, they had the four speed in them. Pretty sure that in the 70s, 70s did, yeah. I don't know. Pretty sure on that. Someone can correct me in the comments, I don't know. But anyway, sounds pretty good. It looks amazing. It just works amazing. I like it. Hoover did a good job on it. Congratulations. Did an awesome job. I wish you'd see some more trucks kind of like that. Same sound. Lifted. Like that. Or if not lifted so much, have it where you can hook on with a trailer and tow stuff with it or pull logs. Logs would be cool. That stump's going to be a problem right there. It's pretty rotted, so we're going to hook onto it and give her a jerk out. Make it. Oh. Got to give her a little tug. Must be in there a little better thought. Oh, there we go. It's out. Them stumps have weight. Actually, if you don't... Oh, my gosh. Hit that tree. <laughs> Come on now, let's go. So then pull that stump out here, and then we'll go back in and hook onto that truck. That's my main thing. I just want to test out to figure out how much it pulled and what it how well it did pull. Those stumps can snag in the ground and pull you down a little bit. Pretty realistic game. I don't expect them to make a number two. If they do, they're really keeping it hushy hush. I haven't heard nothing about it. I think it'd be kind of cool to do some other 
uh, off-road rock crawling videos. I might do that. I think that might be fun. I've been wanting to do one of those. Everybody seems to enjoy those a little bit. Well, I don't know if everybody does, but mixes it up a little bit. Alright, ooh, gave her a little push clutch in, give it some gas, let off the clutch, just like real life. But real life clutches are a little more touchier and they, you know. You'll notice the difference when you get in an actual truck and you try to run that and you run clutches a lot more stiffer. And look how realistic this is. It actually pushes you down, pushes you. <laughs> there goes the back of the tailgate, it's all smashed up and scratched, but at least it's steel. We're in second gear pulling. It's actually pretty pretty realistic. I mean, it's pretty good. It's, they did a real amazing, amazing, real good job. I don't know what you're talking about. I got bad grammar, but whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, like I said, I'm not professional. I don't care be, ever be professional. It's a country boy. Anyway, I'm in fourth gear, and that's as far as it goes. Oh, I guess the back taillights do work. They just don't. There's bulbs, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I just want to see if it pulled it out of this. Yeah, it's not going to pull it out. It's quite a heavy truck. All right. Even tugging it does not work. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the speed a little bit here. Oh wait, no, that I didn't do that. I did that with the Dodge. The Dodge, that's how I figured out it was so little geared. Let's go to the other Dodge. Let's go to the Dodge now. It sounds amazing. It has a lot of power, but it's not... It's not uh, real... It's a little responsive, but it's not real jumpy like the Ford was. Oh yeah, see, I took my hand off the steering wheel for a second to get a drink. And that's what happened. The steering, that's another thing with these force feedbacks. It's basically, however, if your the dirt path is downhill a little bit, or like the road's off a little bit, like in real life, the road kind of slants a certain way. You're gonna be your car is gonna be starting to pull that way. And that's how this is, and it will actually pull you all the way down. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I mean, if you guys have a steering wheel. I do get the game. It took me many years to get a steering wheel. Well couple years because I never really did PC gaming I was always console guy and then after I realized there was so much cool stuff you could do with PC and I was like whoa I'm missing out and then I couldn't get a PC and then finally got one because I watched everybody and I was like man I want to get that I want to get that and then I finally got stuff set up and then yeah started doing that see right here I gave it a little bit of fuel and it just didn't uh, it wouldn't do hardly a spin out, burn out, whatever. But on this hill, though, it did pretty well. Well, wheel. <laughs> I was looking at the wheels. Boulders rolling down. On this hill right here, right when I started sliding off here, I actually didn't give it no gas. It was just actually crawling up by itself. First gear. Right here. You can actually tell when I throttle it, but right here is where I did it. I just put it, let my foot off the gas. I was like driving this normal, just letting it go by itself. Pretty heavy truck, but it pulls itself, which is good. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you guys later. There will be a spin tires. Some kind of a spin tires might be good, might be bad, might be crappy, might be whatever. You might hate it to death, but I'm going to put one up once a day. I'll talk to you again then. Bye-bye.